Hi. Today I want to explain how to use the CQ Researcher Database for your paper, research paper, or presentation. A little explanation before we go ahead. CQ Researcher has long reports and it delves into all aspects of the topic. So it tends to be 20 pages long. You may not use all of it. You may use parts of it for your paper or presentation. Right now, I'm on the library.rit.edu homepage. And in the middle of the page, there are different tabs. So I will click on the Databases tab. And I'll type in CQ Researcher. Then click on Search. you will see that title come up. Click on the title. Notice that there's hot topics in the right column. You can explore those if you're looking for a topic. Or, you can also browse for topics and more ideas. When you scroll down, you'll notice there's different topics of interest. Right here we have zoonotic diseases, so I'll click on that. In the left column, you can see different parts of the report which you can explore. You can read the introduction, the overview of the topic, the background of the topic, and more. In the right column, there are related reports. If you're not satisfied with that report and you want to look for more reports like this, you can use that feature. Notice that you can email, print, save, download an article, and you can cite it. Click on the Cite button. This is an APA citation. You can click on Chicago or MLA. Again, you have to be careful and make sure to double check the citations because sometimes there are minor errors. Make sure you use APA 7th edition if your professor requires that.
when you read the report, there's different sections. And you can use those sections to narrow your topic. Maybe you're interested in 21st century diseases. You can limit your research in that area. Also, I want you to notice the reference area. This is another way you can get more articles if you need them. Oftentimes, it will connect to a database article at RIT libraries. That sums up my explanation of how to use the CQ Researcher.